because this morning I'm going to get to share a very, very special story with you. This book is called, Jesus Said, Go Tell the World, So I've Got a Job to Do. Did you know that each one of us has a special job that Jesus gave us to do before he went back to heaven? Yep, and this book is going to tell us all about it. Jesus loves the world. The Bible tells us so. Now he's back in heaven and he tells us, go. People need a savior. Tell them God loves you. So I've got a job to do. If I walk to school or I ride the bus, I can tell my friends Jesus died for us. If the driver asks, I can tell her too, because I've got a job to do. Will my life show Christ in the way I love? Will I help the world like my God above? At a party, park, or a barbecue? I've got a job to do. I will move in faith when I have a hunch. Ask a lonely kid if he'll share my lunch. I can bless our food, maybe bless us too. I've got a job to do. I could ask my friend, come to church with me. I might even ask her whole family, because we need each other, and you know that's true. I've got a job to do. When I'm at the beach with a friend of mine, and we stand in awe of the bright sunshine, I'll say, thank you, God, for this awesome view. I've got a job to do. I have friends and family that I love a lot, and though some know Jesus, maybe some do not. I want all of them up in heaven too. So I've got a job to do. When I'm all grown up, I could be a clown or an airplane pilot flying upside down. I might tend the ponies in a petting zoo, but I'll still have a job to do. From the highest mountain to the valley's low, far beyond the sea, everywhere I go, from the tip of Iceland out to Timbuktu, I've got a job to do. What if no one listens? What if no one cares? Then I'll talk to Jesus in my daily prayers and I'll trust in him for the follow through because I've got a job to do. It's the greatest message. He's the living word. It's the best good news that you ever heard. I could never hide it if I wanted to. I've got a job to do. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm kind of small, for the Great Commission goes to one and all. When I go with Jesus, he will see me through. I've got a job to do. Matthew 28, 18 through 20 says, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given complete authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So boys and girls, Jesus wants to be our friend forever. And he gave us a very special job, which is to go tell everybody around us how much Jesus loves them too. So hold on. Ollie's going to tell you a little bit more about that in today's Bible story. I love you and I miss you. Have a great day. Bye. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. Oh.
what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a wonderful day. Oh, hey, I'm Lucy. And these flowers we planted are making me so happy. They light up the whole clubhouse. Where do you think would be the best place to put them? Oh, I know. <laughs> I love these flowers. They make my fuzzy wuzzy heart so happy. Hmm, where do you think I should put Devin's flower pot? Aha! Ta-da! This is the perfect place for a chocolate chip cookie flower pot. Poppy's flower pot is so super colorful and fun. Maybe I should leave it right here, in the middle of the clubhouse. How's that? Wait a minute, there's only three. Where's Kai's flower pot? Uh, oh, I remember. Kai gave his flower pot to his grandma. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You've made quite the flower garden. It's true. Hi, Ollie. They're just so beautiful. It makes my heart happy to look at them. It's good to find something we love. Who? Who? And even better to share it with others, too. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through, Joe. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. All month long, we've been celebrating Easter and how Jesus is alive. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. And done. Okay, now today's true story from the Bible happens on a mountain. Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to meet him on the mountain. Well, here are the disciples, but where is Jesus? Do you see him? When you see him, yell, Jesus! Is he over here? What about over there? Do you see him? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Yay, Jesus. <laughs> so Jesus went to his friends, the disciples, and he told them he had an important job for them to do. It's an important job that he wants us to do too. Do you want to know what it is? Say, I want to know. I want to know. Ready? I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> Good. Jesus said our important job is to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Whoa, do you think we can do it? Let's say that together. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. One more time. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's practice. Oh, look, it's grandpa. Let's tell him Jesus is alive and we can follow him. All together now. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Great. It's our neighbor checking her mail. Let's tell her too. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's do one more. Hey, look, it's our friends playing in the park. Let's tell them. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. <laughs> We did it! Great job, everyone! That's what Jesus wants us to do, to tell everyone, everywhere, that he's alive and we can follow him. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story. 
and it's all true. We can follow Jesus, and we can tell others, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. Jesus told his friends to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and that we can follow him, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I think these flowers are so beautiful. I can't just keep them in the clubhouse. I want to share, like Kai. And when I give these flowers to my neighbors, I can tell them that Jesus is alive. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1.18. I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1.18. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. He died for you and me, but on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me. But on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. God loved the world.